So guys, I saw this moth here on my bean plant and I've never seen a moth that looks like this. This is the first time I'm seeing a moth like this now. Okay guys, so this tomato tree that I have here, I don't like how it's looking. So I've decided that I will take it out and I will plant another one in its place because I find the leaves are yellowing and I notice this is happening here. So I'm going to take this tree out and I'm going to plant another one in its place. The tomato that I have here, I'm going to pick it now. And there's another one here that I'm going to pick as well. Let's take this one as well. Okay. And there's another one in here that I will also pick. Let's see if we can get to it. I have it all wrapped up. Okay guys, so I took out these two tomato trees here and I replanted some new ones. This is from the original and it needs to ripen. Once these ripen, I will do the same thing, take it out and plant some new ones. Okay guys, so I planted my spring onions in these um, toilet paper rolls as you can see. And they have germinated all but one. So what I'm going to do, because I don't want the root to come out at the bottom, um, I'm going to actually transplant these now into my garden. So that, because I'm just, I just have this dressing on this tray here. Um, I don't want the root getting, um, you know, just having to touch that bare metal. Um, I have some others that I germinated here. I use the, um, MTA cartons for these, but I mean, the roots will, can stay enclosed in here, but with this one, I don't want the roots touching, you know, just the bare, because it's just coming out like that and just resting there. And don't, I don't want it to come out, and in case I damage the root or something. So I'm going to transplant these um, into my garden now so that if the root does come out, it just it just continues growing down. So I'm going to get to planting all the rest of these spring onions. So guys, I'm happy to report that my bell pepper seeds here have germinated. So I'm so happy about that. Okay, so these lettuce here, as you can see, it looks like it wants to start. Well, let me hold this properly so you can see. It looks like it wants to start to bolt 
to go to seed. However, I really don't like this variety of lettuce. I prefer the, the other one that I have on the other side of my garden, which is this sort of like red leaf um, lettuce. This one I don't like so much. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to worry to allow it to bolt to go to seed because it's not a lettuce that I prefer so much. So I'm going to harvest these and what I'm going to do is plant the Chinese cabbage here. I'm going to plant Chinese cabbage. I have I have also a bok choy to plant. I think I'll plant the bok choy where I have the pak choy. But for these here, I'm going to take these out and I'm going to put the, um, the Chinese cabbage um, in, in the place of these here. Though I did get some more than the mystery here, but I'm not so keen on this, on this particular lettuce. So I, I, I will just go ahead and harvest these and plant the Chinese cabbage here. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you how I go about growing my pak choy. So these are called pak choy seeds. Now pak choy seeds and bok choy seeds, they look the same. Okay, so this is how the seeds look like. This is the size of the seeds. So, okay, let me just put this back in the bag. Okay, so what I do, I just use the egg cartons and um, I put some soil, like this was a soil that I, an organic soil mix that I got, which was successful. And I say that because I did buy another pot in soil and none of my seeds germinated. But this one, as you can see, I mean, I had success with this one. So I just use the air carton, I fill it up, I watered in this, the soil, and then I left it for a while, and then I came and I would put the seed in each one, and then I lightly dusted some more soil on top of it, and just very gently patted it, not, not very hard, just very gently patted it down, and, and then I watered them in. And as you can see, they have germinated. So these here, these are the pak choy here, okay? Um, so obviously what we're going to do is let them get a little bigger and then we're going to transplant them into the garden itself. Okay guys, so I'm out here in my garden and I wanted to show you guys my cabbage. So if you can see here, my cabbage is coming along nicely, okay? So it's something that I wanted to uh, mention about the cabbage. So the cabbage outer leaves, um, they don't close in to form the head of the cabbage. The head of the cabbage actually is formed in the middle, just like how the broccoli head is formed in the middle and the cauliflower head is formed in the middle, so too with the cabbage, okay? So these outer leaves that you see here, you see how big they are? This is not going to close in in order to form the cabbage. The cabbage head forms inside of here. But these outer leaves, now uh, maybe, let me just, flip the camera over so I can show you. Okay, so the cabbage head forms inside of here. These outer leaves here, these are not going to close in like this. It's not going to close in to form the head, no. These are just the outer leaves and the cabbage head forms in the middle there. However, these outer leaves are edible. So whenever I am ready to harvest my cabbage, I am going to use the outer leaves as well. I'm going to cook with it. You can fry it, you can make coleslaw. Um, well, when I say fry it, I mean saute with some onions and garlic and so forth. These are edible. And of course, because we are doing organic farming and we're not spraying any pesticides, obviously we want to make use of this, okay? 
So as you can see, my cabbages are coming along. So I'm just waiting patiently for the heads to start to form. And um, that's what I'm doing. But as you can see, it's, it's growing nicely. So that's the, um, the good thing of growing your own cabbage because you could actually make use of the outer leaves. Now, these outer leaves are edible. And so when you grow it at home and you know you're not spraying any chemicals on your cabbage, you can also make use of your outer leaves as well. So that was just a little cabbage update. Okay guys, so I have still the lettuce that I had in this pot here. And I got some manio. So what I'm gonna do is mix some manio with this soil here. I'm gonna use another bucket to mix it. Put it back in and then I'm gonna put some more seeds. I'm gonna sow some more seeds. Um, lettuce seeds in order to germinate in this pot. Okay guys, so I'll be sowing some more of this type of lettuce and I'm going to be sowing it in that same bucket that I have instead the lettuce from just now. But like I said, I'm going to um, amend the soil a little bit with some comp uh, manure that I got and then, um, and then I'm going to sow some more seeds. Okay, so first, before I sow my seeds, I'm going to wet the soil. And I'm just going to let that water drain through. And then I'm going to sow my seeds on top and sprinkle some soil on top. I'm going to put some money on the bottom of this. Alright, what I'm going to do is put a layer of organic soil on top of that. And then I'm going to sow my seeds. Okay, so I'm going to sprinkle some seeds now on top here. I have to allow some of these um, lettuce to bolt so you can go to seeds so I'll be able to get more seeds. I'm kind of putting a generous amount because it's kind of like a salad container. No. They will be close. Oh, that's this bunch is too close. Oh, it's too oh good. Yeah. More of that there. I guess that should be good. Alright, I guess we can um cover it up. Let's cover it up with some soil. I think that should be good. We just pat it down like that. And now we're gonna water this in, okay? Alright, that should be good. So we're gonna put this in the sun and we're just gonna wait for this to germinate. Okay guys, so I amended some soil which I'm gonna put over here and then I'm gonna plant my Chinese cabbage in this section here.
So guys, this is the Chinese cabbage that I'm putting out here. Right. So here we have our Chinese cabbage. What I'm going to do now is water it in and then I'm going to cover it with a net.